Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big and win big consistently. So we're going to talk about Major League Baseball again for the weekend of June 7th to June 9th and we're at the Z Code VIP Club section which is the place to be for all the information you need to uh, make your bets and make them successfully. So if you're not a, already a member please join up so you can take advantage of this uh, section of the website. So we're going to scroll down through here and look at some of the games for this week. And the first matchup is a big one here in the National League Central, the Chicago Cubs at home against the St. Louis Cardinals. So if you see here, the Cardinals here are burning hot at the moment. You notice they have won their last four and four out of their last six. The Cubs, on the other hand, are ice cold up. They had lost four out of their last five, but they won their last meeting uh, eight to one against the Angels. So if you look at the power ranking indicator to see what's happening with the two teams at the moment, you see here the Cardinals are trending way up after being down here at plus 7 on May 30th. They're all the way up now to here at plus, uh, what is this, plus 22, and the Cubs here are down at plus 18. So let's take a look at something else here. It's going to be good to, for the betting here. Let's look at the totals predictor. This is to look for the over-under. So you see here the red line compared to the blue line. The red line is under. So the Cardinals are playing in games that are trending under. If you look here at the Cubs, they're playing in games that are trending over. So which way do you go on this one? Tough to tell. You might want to go over because the Cubs are more over than the than the Cardinals are under. But I think the best place to go on this is just not to bet at all on the over-under. That's my take on that. So now if you look at the volatility oscillator, you see how stable the teams are. You see here the Cardinals are one of the more unstable teams in the league, meaning that they are not performing according to their favorite underdog status. So uh, take that with a little grain of salt here when you consider betting on this game for this series. Um, if you want to look at the pitcher profit oscillator, this will show you about the matchups for the weekend. It's Jack Flaherty for the Cardinals, Adam Wainwright for the Cardinals on Saturday, and uh, Genesis Cabrera on Sunday. For the Cubs, Cole Hamels goes on Friday, John Lester on Saturday, and Kyle Hendricks on Sunday. So I'm going to show you a little bit how that works. So we go here to the pitcher profit oscillator. You see here, I already put the two teams in. I have here the Cardinals and the Cubs. And the matchup on Saturday, I Adam Wainwright versus, versus John Lester. If you go down through here, you see Wainwright is at plus 1,583, which means he is a very, very profitable uh, bet. If you look here at John Lester, here's at minus 50. If you look down here at the bottom here, it shows you the difference between the two. Plus 1633 in favor of Wainwright and the Cardinals. So the Cardinals are the best bet on that one. Uh, the Cubs on Friday, Cole Hamels is, is at plus 1490. He is the best bet for that game. And on Sunday, Kyle Hendricks is in the positive, while Cabrera is in the negative. In general, the Cubs are the better team. As far as the matchups go, except for on um, Saturday with Rain, Wainwright, it's a little bit of a toss-up. But with the Cubs are at home, I give them a little bit of an edge in this series. I predict they will win two games to one. And I'll go down here through some of the other ones that I want to take a look at. And there's a couple here. Rockies and Mets, we don't want to look at that one. Tigers. And Twins, Yankees, and here we go, Yankees and Indians. The New York Yankees are average at the moment. And you see what they've done over their last six. They have won four of their last six. And losing their last game to Boston, eight to five. You look at the Indians, they're average down at the moment. They are three and three over their last six games. If you look here at the power ranking indicator again to see where they're at. At the moment, the Yankees are relatively stable here. They're at plus 26. The Indians have been up and down. They were down here at plus 12. Just a few days ago, they're back up to plus 16. Let's take a look again. I always like to look at the totals predictor. If you want to consider the favorite underdog status, well, let's take a look. The Yankees are trending just a little bit over in their games. The Indians are trending a little bit over. So if you, if you are going to bet the over or under, the over is probably the safe bet on this one. That's the direction that I would go. Let's take a look again now at a few other things. Again, volatility oscillator. See how stable the two teams are. The Yankees are among the most stable teams in the league at plus 18. So take their favorite underdog status very seriously when betting on this one. Uh, of the six starting pitchers for this weekend, Masaharu Tanaka at plus 1,264 on the pitcher profit oscillator. He is the best bet for the Yankees on Sunday. 
Shane Bieber is also pitching on Sunday. He is pitching for the Indians. He's at plus 623. He's their best bet for the Indians. But he, unfortunately, he's going up against Tanaka. So I think that's going to be a loss for the Indians in that game. And in fact, uh, Domingo German on Saturday for the Yankees. He is a better bet than Jeffrey Rodriguez. Uh, Sunday's game, or excuse me, Saturday's game between CC Sabathia and Zach Plesak is a bit of a toss-up. For the series in general, the Yankees are clearly the better team, one of the best in the league. I consider them to be the favorites and for them to take the series two games to one. Get that through here. A couple more matchups that we want to look at for the weekend. Let's look at the Oakland A's and the Texas Rangers. Here is an AL West matchup. And if you see here, the A's are not playing well at all lately. They're dead stats and they haven't lost their last five. And they're just one in five over their last six. The Rangers, on the other hand, are burning hot. They have won five out of their last six, and, and uh, they just took uh, three or four against the Kansas City Royals. So let's take a look at the power ranking indicator. If you look here, you what you would expect here, the Rangers are on the uptrend from plus 11 back on May 31st, and they're, they are now up into over 20 at plus 21. And you see here the A's, they were all the way up here at plus 28 back on May 28th, and they have dipped significantly, and they are down to plus 14. Again, a lot of people like to bet the over-under. Let's take a look at the trends for the over-under. You can see here that uh, the A's are playing in games that are trending under. And the Rangers also are playing in games that are trending quite a bit under. So betting the under is a very, very good play for the games in this series. If you look at the uh, pitching matchups, Brett Anderson, Chris Bassett, and Daniel Mengden for the A's against Lance Lynn, Adrian Sampson, and Mike Miner for the Rangers. Uh, according to the pitcher profit oscillator, though, five of those six pitchers have been in the red. They are not been good bets. So it's kind of difficult to pick strictly on the pitching matchup. I would give the advantage in pitching matchup on Sunday to Mike Miner, who is slightly profitable over Daniel Mengden. In general, the Rangers are more on the hot trend right now. They are playing at home, so I think they will take the series, but not sweep. I pick two out of three. Go down through here. A couple more series that we want to look at. Uh, let's see which ones that I want to look at. There are a whole bunch of games for this weekend. Here we go. The Washington Nationals and the San Diego Padres is another good one. The Nationals have been playing excellent ball lately. They are burning hot. They are still in fourth in the NL East, but they're only six and a half games out now. They have won four out of their last six. The Padres are trending average. They're a couple games under 500 for the season, and they have won three out of their last six. Go here to the power ranking indicator, and again, you will see here that the Padres had been trending down, uh, but they're at plus 11. The Nationals were as low as plus 7. Well, actually, they were as low as uh, plus 2 back on May 23rd, but uh, recently they were plus 7 on June 1st. Now they are up to plus 10. Let's see if their games are trending over or under. You can see that the Nationals games have been trending over. The red compared to the blue. And you can see the, also the Padres, they were trending under. Now they are trending over. So since both teams are trending over, bet the over in this one. As far as the pitching matchups are concerned, Max Scherzer on Saturday is an excellent bet for the Nationals. He is at plus 1691 on the pitcher. I mean, yeah, on the pitcher profit oscillator. Um, for the other two games, Chris Paddock. Had a slight edge over Steven Strasburg as far as pitcher profit goes, but in general, I would consider the Padres to have a slight edge only because they are playing at home. They're not playing as well as the Nationals lately, but just going with a hunch, I think the uh, Padres will take two out of three in this series. Now, the last matchup here is the Dodgers against the Giants. In the National League West matchup, the Giants are 16 and a half games behind the Dodgers, who are among the top teams in baseball at the moment. In fact, they're probably the best team in baseball at the moment. They're burning hot. You can see they've won their last six, and they've won nine out of their last ten. The Giants, they had lost three out of their last four, but because of a two-game winning streak, they're burning hot, but they have also lost seven out of their last ten, so take that into consideration as well. Go to the power ranking indicator. Again, you can see the clear advantage for the uh, Dodgers, plus 29. Even though the Giants have lost their last two, they're still only at plus three. Totals predictor, over or under? Well, the Dodgers have been playing in games trending over, although it's been closer to the uh, over-under line. They're still playing in games trending over. 
and as are the Giants. So betting the over is a safe bet for most of the games in this series. If you look at the pitcher profit oscillator, uh, Clayton Kershaw is the best bet for all games in this series. He is at plus 1428 for the Dodgers on Friday. Jeff Samarja is one of the worst bets I have ever seen on Saturday. He is a minus 4177 on the pitcher profit oscillator. So clearly do not bet the Giants on Saturday. In fact, the Dodgers, being the much better team, have an excellent chance of sweeping but clearly will at least win two out of three games in this series. Okay, so I want to show you one other thing here. Uh, we have a little bit of a webinar here that you can take a look at here. So again here, this is the inside webinar recap, how to make $34,812 this summer. If you want to take a look at this webinar here, here's the inside webinar recap. You just want to click on this and watch this to get an idea what's going on with the webinar. So be sure to take a look at that. And remember, if you have not already joined, please join up. You can you can have access to this VIP club session, all the other great things on this site. And also, uh, please take note, which I did not mention yet. I've mentioned in previous videos, but it's always good to mention again. If you go up here to the top here, you can look at the top automated systems. And this is also an excellent way to make your picks if you're not interested in just Looking at all the numbers, you can just look at the automated systems. We have done it for you here. So you can look at the sports here. You can go down to baseball because that's what we're talking about. You can go by different profit methods. You can go by here, return on investment, which a lot of people like to go by. And then overall profit, which is also another obviously great thing to look at because we're all interested in profit, right? So you can take a look at any one of these systems and you can see how they have fared. I'll just uh, hit one just to give you a general idea. You can see that has a net profit graph and has a whole bunch of other things where you can see how it shows you the profit. So please take a look at that. It will help you with your bets. Okay, so there you have it. Enjoy the weekend's games. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next week.